Hi y'all, it's Pam at Pink Dragonfly Wings here with our next prompt for December. And um, we're going to see what we have today. Um, our prompt for today is Salvaged Birds. And so, and I spent a lot of time thinking about this because didn't really understand what salvaged meant but salvage kind of also means that it's uh, saved you've saved it from extinction or destruction or whatever so I found this little bird in my stash and he definitely looks like a little bird that might be ready for extinction and I think that he will make a really cool little card, a little journaling card, to put in our journal. I think he would be really, really cool. So that's what I'm going to make. I'm going to make a tag. Now, I thought I would, because he is so colorful and blah, 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 and all, I thought I would use a solid colored piece of paper from my stash. It came from my um, my swap thingies that I didn't have anybody to swap with, so I swapped with myself. So it came from my, my stash of swapped items, and that's what I'm going to use today. And so the first thing I'm going to do is put this in here. So I want it... To be on both sides and it really doesn't matter because it's the same it's the same on on both sides pretty much you know so I don't think it really makes any difference so I'm gonna put these on this piece of paper for the next page of my book and I have been using well goodness gracious I think that's all of my nubbins from yesterday I haven't been in here since yesterday, so anyway, so I'm going to fold this back so I know where my edges are, and I'm going to put my tape down the edges because I really want my edges to be stuck down really well, and I don't want, you know, I just have a real hard time when, when my paper crinkles up, and sometimes it does that with um, wet glue it kind of crinkles up and everything it most of the time it calms down when um, when it dries but not always so I'm gonna put this on here and we're gonna make sure all of these edges are down really good and my little bird is already wanting to pull up and join the party here so we'll put this right here and to get it on all of our sides and we're going to put one in the middle just to kind of kind of help hold it down a little bit and then we'll come over here and put it on this side and uh, Make sure that's going to stick down okay. Put this all around here. I hope all of y'all are having fun doing this Defemorember event. Um, I, I don't know if I have said on here that I am scheduled to have my second knee surgery on December the 18th. And... That's going to be right in the middle of Defemorember and all that. And so I thought about maybe just catching up later. But then I was afraid that by the time I got to be able to access my upstairs, which is where my computer is, crafting is not as bad because I have my craft room downstairs. And so that's not as much of a, a problem to access. But if any of you have ever had knee surgery, you know that you don't climb stairs for a few weeks. 
and so my computer is upstairs and I wouldn't be able to go up there to upload my videos and things. So I am going to try over the next couple of weeks. We have our uh, our our prompt list and this will be I'll have a three day weekend before and I'll have three extra days here. And I think that I'm going to pick up these days and go ahead and do my videos and get them ready to load on the day that they should be loaded on. Um, we'll see. We'll see if I'm able to do that and get that get that done okay. Uh, but that's my goal. And then that way I can finish up with everybody else. Now, the only thing I won't have access to is Effie's prompt to the second prompt. I won't know that one. And so that one may have to wait. But since I don't have a partner or anything, I've heard that this second prompt here is supposed to be swapping our door or something. And I haven't heard that, I mean, from Louisa or from Barbara, but I've heard that on from other people. And since I don't have a partner, that won't be a problem. So that's my plan, is to be able to do, on those off days, I'm hoping to be able to do my extra days that I'm going to miss so that I'll be able to go ahead and put them on. So, anyway, uh, not that that really matters to anybody but me, but um, I'm hoping that I can do those prompts and do them a little early. Since I already have the prompts, I won't be able to know what everybody else is doing, but that's okay because I don't really know what everybody else is doing beforehand anyway. And so, um, that's my plan. So, that's, that's what I plan to do. So, I'm going to try to put this right here. And fold this sheet over. And hopefully it will close down in the right spot hope so anyway. So let me burnish that down a little bit, make sure it's all nice and smooth. And then we'll come over here and do the same thing to this side. And hopefully that will work. So, well, where's my little tweezer thingies? I never can find those things. Yeah, they are, when I need them. But they really do help get this paper up. So, um, I've said several times, I know, that, you know, I had a pedicure with my mom. I treated her to a pedicure while she was here with me. And we went and got pedicures done on our fingernails, or toenails and manicures on our fingernails. And my fingernails were all all squarely different, different lengths and stuff. Um... I am a lifelong nail biter, and but as I've gotten older and my teeth got bad, I guess I kind of quit biting my fingernails, and so I let them grow, but they're still very thin, so they don't they don't um, grow very long. So they grow, and then they're all different lengths. So when I went to get my manicure done, they cut all of my fingernails, and that was fine for the most part, but. Um, I had a couple of really little longer ones that I could use to pull my tape up with, and I, I really miss my fingernails on there. So, anyway, I'm going to hold this up a little bit to the light so I can see where that shadow is, just because I need to cut off just slightly a little bit off of the bottom to fit my page. So, we will get that done. And let me... Go ahead before I progress and put my holes in here because I will forget and then I'll glue something down then I won't be able to put my my holes in. So let me get these done here and that part will be done and I won't have to worry about it. At least I'll know where the holes are supposed to go. 
And then we'll work on this little tag. And one more. There we go. Uh, so I have those holes punched. And we'll put reinforcers on those later when we figure out what we're going to do with it. So any, uh, I have a piece of cardstock here. It's pretty heavy, but it'll be okay. Um, because I want to make a a more square card to hold our little our little bird here and I want him to kind of fit on here and he's already pretty evened on this piece of pay a uh, piece of fabric here but I really want the thingy to fray a little bit around him. So, let me even him up just a little bit, if I can. If I can do that. You know, evening is not my strong suit. And let me get my fabric scissors over here. Um, so I can make sure it's pretty even. and cutting at the same time if I want it to be even. So let's see if he's a little more even here on the side. Oh, well, let's put him right side up. And then I think we need to cut off a little bit down here because I don't want the tag. Is the tag even going to fit on this page? Let's make sure. And I think it will. I think he will fit. If we're very careful. Because I don't want to cut any of these little feathers off. But I think that will work. So what we're going to do. I'm going to put that over there for right now. I am going to try. I don't know why that is there. And where my lid is. I know I have a little lid to that stuff somewhere, but who knows what I did with it. I don't know. I will find it at a later date. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is draw a line here. With my pencil. That is, as blind as I am, I can't see that. I mean, I think it's there, but let's make it a little bit better. Yeah, I can see that. And then we'll come down here. We'll cut off that much. And let's even, let's see, I don't want it to be like that. So we'll edge that. Whoa! And we'll cut just a little bit off of this edge and kind of kind of even it up a little bit. And then our little frayed edges will all be about the same. Okay, so we're going to Try that again. Try cutting this. So we're going to put it over here so I can see what I'm doing. This probably would have done a lot better if I had glued it first. But... You know, I didn't do that, so I think this will be big enough for our card, our journaling card. And then we'll cut just a little bit up here. And 
I don't know why I go to the trouble to measure all this. I can't cut in a straight line anyway, so it still comes out crooked, but that is okay. Okay, there we go. I'm going to save these little nubbins. Put those in my nubbin bucket. We'll save that for something. I don't know. We'll see. See what we can use it for. Okay. Then we're going to use a piece of cardstock. And I want it to be about like this on each side. Because I think this will ravel. This will fray. Relatively easy. The fabric seems like pretty frayable stuff. So let's see here. Let me take my glasses off. I can see that a little better. And that's working. Kind of. So. And then I'm going to want this little frayed edge to hang off the edge of the paper. I don't want the paper to go up to that. I want it to kind of go right there. So I think that will work. Of course, I could do him like this, I guess, but that would make a pretty funky little thing. So. We're not going to do that. All right, let's see if we can get this side to fray a little bit. And get it pulled down. Put all my little strings right there. And everything. So, okay, we got a little bit of fray there. Not a whole lot. Certainly not as much as I was wanting. So let's see. Of course, it's still not very straight. Okay. Well, I'm thinking that I love this little this little bird and I got it in a a bundle of, of stuff. I buy lots of doilies and lace and things like that. And um it came in a bundle that I got there and uh, I thought when I saw it I thought, hmm, what in the world am I gonna use that for? Because he was kinda I don't know, gaudy maybe. He's Let's put those strings in my nubbin bucket over there. I use my nubbins to... Yeah, now that's going to work pretty good. Okay. So, put my glasses back on so I can see where my mark is. And we're going to make a mark right there. And right there. And... Yes, with my handy dandy little cutter, and of course it's a little long, so we're going to cut a little piece off the top of this, and I'll use that for a tag at some point. I just need to get it in here where I can cut. This and make it pretty even. Off. Save that. Cut this off. And it looks to be relatively even. Okay. So that gives us a little square. And we're going to put this on our car. I put this on our little thing here. This journaling card. 
And then I thought maybe I would use a piece of this paper to put on the back of it to have some journaling space. So we'll do that in a minute. Right now, let's get some glue on this. And I'm just going to glue it right along the edges. Right along the edges. And right along this edge. And the top. Come on, don't stick to me. There we go, and then I'm going to put some here on the flower part because it won't show through, but it will help hold the bird down. And get him in there because we sure don't want him to come flying up. Alrighty. We'll try to lay that down right there. And if we hold our breath and cross our fingers, Maybe we can get this on here even. There we go. That's not too bad. I could just get this little corner to come up. Some of my little feathers are... trying to stick. Alright. Yeah, that's what I wanted. I wanted it to be like that. Very cool. Let's see if we can get this to come down ever so slightly. Come on. Don't want you to pull over so bad. There we go. It's hard with this fabric because this fabric is kind of thin and it wants to pull and tug and pull and I don't want it to do that. But sometimes things don't do what I ask them to do. They do what they want to. Okay, come on. See, I have some little threads there that are trying to stick in the glue. And I don't want them in the glue. up enough that I can see it. Well, I think it may be beyond repair. It may just have gone too far. Right, so, there we go. No biggie. No biggie. Alright, so we have that. And if I can pick it up. Alright. So then we're going to take this little piece, and I want the lines. I do not want the holes. So I think what I will do is cut the holes off. And then we'll cut this side off where the lines end. And then let's see, that's going to be a little smaller than we wanted, but that's okay. That is quite okay, and then we're going to cut it down here, and about halfway through there. Okay, and then we'll cut this. that. Let me have this piece. Put my glasses back on. You know, it's really weird because I can see better up close, close with my, out my glasses. But I can't see diddly squat without them at all. So, let's ink this up around here. see what we have to work with now. Let's put that over there. 
kind of, we're going to put it and it's going to look like that. So, I'm thinking that maybe, let's put this over here. Let's see what other, we have all these things here that Louisa provided us, Louisa and Barbara. Barbara did some of them and Louisa did some of them and I don't know who did what and all, but of course I had, well that's for the other thing. Um, hmm. We need, I think, something to go around the edges of this. And I'm thinking, I'm wondering, maybe some washi tape. And let's see what I have down here in the washi tape section. And I think it probably... Where's my flashlight? Wondering where that went. Of course, it was in the washi tape bucket. Okay, what about that? That might look pretty nice. It's not very, not very dark. I think that would look really pretty. It's just kind of a subtle, subtle color thing. So. Let's put a little glue on here. Um, some of my washi tape I've had for a long time. And after a while, if any of you work with washi tape, well, look like I've been rolling in the strings. It looks, uh, it begins to not stick as well anymore. So I'm going to put some glue on it just to make sure that it holds. And let's see, I'll put those out of the way. Those are my sewing scissors. So let's cut this down here so it's even. Put it out right there. And cut that one off. Let's see, I used to have little thing there that I use. I want to bet this will work. Work perfect. And we'll put this one up here at the top. I had some small um, those little acrylic stamp blocks that I use. And let's cover that up before we get it everywhere. And I never can find one when I need one. I don't know what I do with them. I would say that I eat them, but they always turn up somewhere. But they always are in a weird spot. So, I don't know. I don't know. Of course, if I'd clean up after every little project, then I probably would be able to keep up with my things better. But, oh my goodness. I can't imagine. Because if I clean up everything, every time, then I find myself just pulling it out again. And there I go. So, alright, so we're going to put this here on the back. One more piece. And that just kind of gives us a little filler there for our piece of paper. Let's see, now there's there's our bird. So let's put, see now that looks so much better. So much better than it did before. So, alright, let's get some, let's get some tape. And I know that I had some tape, but there it is. And because I've used it already. So we'll put that one on there this one on here. I just like the tape on to put on things that I know are going to be written on because the tape is very thin and sometimes the glue is not so thin. 
lucky enough if you're not super careful or you don't burnish it enough or you don't burnish it the way it needs to be done uh, it'll leave little little marks under there and it messes it up in my opinion so there we go I don't do it all the time but I'm gonna do it this time so let's get this on here get this on here all of our edges of taper down so we don't stick to other things that we don't want to stick to. That's my bird. That's the top. This is the top. And we're going to do it about like that. Okay. There we go. So now we have our little journaling card done. I wonder if we could kind of go around the edge of this too. I think that kind of gives it some definition. I like it anyway. So there we go. There's another little string trying to come out. So I like that. So this is now going to go in our pocket. We're going to make a pocket, and it's going to have to be a very, very... Okay, I don't know about that. Um, maybe... Maybe we could do okay, that would put that right there, and that actually would work, but we would have to connect it here somehow, which we could actually do. And put that like that. Okay, let's see about this washi tape. And let's see if we can put another piece of washi tape right there. stick on there. We'll fold that and have it as a little fold out. And that would actually work pretty good. So we could flip this over and we have our writing space right there. And then let me say Itty bitty guy, but I know I cut some of these out when I was doing my first thing. But this, this one, I'm afraid is too big. But I could kind of trim him down just a little bit, cut off the feathers and all of that kind of stuff, and he might fit here just fine and have his little hat sticking out. Oh, that'd be cute. All right, where are my, my little glasses? I mean, my little scissors. I don't fussy cut with these big ones very well, but big ones it is, I guess. So we're going to cut this tail off. little thing off of his hat. Come 
want to get on this side and cut this little nugget off. his little rope off. He doesn't need his rope right now where he's going. So we'll cut that off. Take all these little pieces and throw these away. Okay. Now let's put you up there. Put you over there. And how would you do if I put you But there, let's pull off just a little bit more of his hat here. And make it just a little more, just a little smaller. And do the same maybe on this side. That's much better. You can put his little wing right there. There, where that will fold over, and his little hat will hide right under there. We pull his feet up, you can't see his feet, so we, of course, we're gonna do it. But we'll have his feet showing just a little bit. There we go. I like that idea. All right, so that's what we're gonna do, and we're gonna ink him up. I think this is just the cutest little thing. This little Effie is just the most awesome idea. <laughs> I don't know if... seems like I've heard Barbara say that this was Louisa's uh, idea. And I just thought, oh, what a cute idea. And the way we've incorporated him into everything is just great. Getting him, we're getting it. We don't even notice that we cut his little hat down ever so slightly. There we go. Okay, put that back on there. And then we're going to look again and make sure we have him in the right spot. Want his hat to show just a little bit and his feet to show just a little bit. Okay, so he's going to go right there. And I'm going to glue the first top, or the first part of him. And then we'll go back and glue the bottom part of him. And that way I know he is right where I need him to be on our page. Okay. There we go, Mr. Effie. And now we'll glue his bottom and his feet. Some, get a napkin back here. Get some of that excess glue. Oh, had a little piece trying to get on there. Thank goodness it didn't get in the glue. All right. So there we go. We'll have our little salvaged bird. And I think this little piece that we had left over over here, maybe we can make us a couple of tags. Okay. Let's 
let's see how we're going to do this. Get the glue off of my fingers. We're gonna, I need to cut the seam off the edge here and tear it off. And we'll do... We'll make that our one of our little tags. And we'll ruffle this up a little bit on the bottom. Okay. It's never even. Never ever ever. But my life is just not even. And then I want to put that up there. And we're going to put December the 5th on that one. Okay. Then we're going to put another one down here that says... Actually, that one could work. And I can make a smaller one for up there. Okay. Get those scissors over there and get those out of the way. And get those little strings off of there. Now, somewhere, put those in my nubbin bucket. Uh, there we go. And somewhere. I have my little stamps. Now, I don't have... Barbara has got some really cool stamps that lock together. I'm going to have to buy me some of those because that looks cool. But, and the other day we wrote December the 4th, but this time I'm going to write 12 for. So we're going to stamp on here with our memento ink. And we're going to say one, two, and then we're going to use our pen right here and put a little, put a little dash right here. And then we're going to say 05. And then get our 5. And then we need another little thing. Hyphen, or I guess. And then we'll put, thought I'd lost my two. Okay. And then we have a two. And a three. There we go. Cute. So then we have that one. And then we'll use this bigger one. We're going to put this one right up here. And we may have to put a little back behind it. It's kind of hard to see. So we may have to put something. Maybe this little piece that I cut off. No, that's too small now. We'll find something. Let's go ahead and do salvaged birds on this one. This one's going to be different because these are words. <laughs> so we're going to do... Yes. See how the little clicky together ones would work so much better. But I just don't have those, so we have to go with what we got. Sal V A right? S A L V
Okay. G. <laughs> E, D, I think we're going to make it. Salvaged. Okay. Not particularly straight, but that's okay. And then we're going to do birds, but I'm going to start it a little closer over here. So I'm going to do another S. How'd that bee get down there? Did I put my, yeah, I put my S back. So we're going to start with birds. So if we only have one bird, so maybe we just need to say salvage the bird. No, it says birds. Birds, B-I-R-D. We need a D. Let's see if I can do it from this side. Got a little close. B I R. We need an R. <laughs> it's kind of getting lower every time. B I <laughs> Okay, this is going to be really cute. Okay. Salvage birds. Kind of hard to read, but close enough. And we're going to put that right there. Maybe we could put a little piece, piece of lace under it. I don't really like that piece. Um, I wonder if this is wide enough. Put this right here. Will that fit on there? Yeah, it will, but it really doesn't show much. So, what we're going to do is we're going to put that up before I stick my elbow in it. And we're going to find our scissors. We're going to cut that off. And we are going to. Let's use something besides brown. Let's use this. Forest moss, and let's get it on here and just do around the edge of it, kind of change the color up a little bit. Probably could use uh, the spray oxide on that, but um, I don't want to have to wait for it to dry, so this will work just as well. And I don't have a lot of colored ribbon. I have a little, a little that I get from time to time. But I don't have a lot of it. Simply because if I get the, the neutral colors, I can always dye them whatever color I need. So we'll put that right there. And then we'll put this on here. And that shows up a lot better. Much better. Okay, so I'm going to... Even up some of these little nubbins down here very carefully so I don't cut off my words. Ooh, that was breathtaking. All right, so then we're going to put just a little bit on here. I'll glue that down. What I do with my napkin? That has ink on it, so I have to be careful with that. And then we're going to put a little ink on the back of our tag. And put that on here. There we go. Salvaged birds. 
we only have one, but that's okay. I might could get a bird sticker and put it down here with Mr. Effie so he won't be alone. But, and I think that actually that will work just fine like that. Let's see what else we have in our little bag of tricks. I wonder if I have something here. Now that might work. I think I used half of this the other day for something else. So, let's see what this looks like. Tear a little bit of this off. Huh, that doesn't even meet the purpose. And cover up the whole piece of paper, so I don't know that we want to do that. And I don't know if I have a Maybe. Okay, here's a little piece. Not mind losing my bag. Okay, if we put that, maybe if we put it across there like that, that might work. Okay, I can do that. And so we put a little bit, we'll put it at an angle. little piece came out of my stash bag or my what do you call it uh my well what do you call these kind of pieces leftover stuff you know what I mean I just can't think of the word I think my brain is gone I think it's tired. Little pieces of ephemera and paper and stuff like that. You know what I mean. And then I think we'll use this green one again to match the bottom one. Oops. Helps if you put the ink dauber in the ink pad. It usually picks up a little bit more ink color. So then we have this. I'll put the other one on the other side. I wonder how it would do to just put it like that. There's maybe a little bird sticker right there. I think that'll work. I want it there. Alrighty. So we're going to glue this down. Put that right up there. And we have our our journaling card. So it turned out to be a flip out, not a pocket, but that's okay. We started out with one idea and vamped into another idea, but it worked out just fine. And we have our little bird, and he's been saved, and he's in our little garden. So now he will be here forever. Uh, have a little piece coming undone there. Let's cut that off before it snags and pulls all of them so all right well there you go that's our prompt for the day salvaged birds december the 5th and well, see if i can even that up a little bit that's kind of crooked when i looked at it and so we're here for an, our three with another day and tomorrow let's see let's mark off our salvaged birds right here and then I'll turn it over and because I use the German side too, even though I, do, I don't know what it says. I know what it says because it tells me over here what it says. So, and tomorrow we have a selfie in a bubble. I have not a clue what we're going to do about that, but we'll worry about that tomorrow. All right. So I will see you. If you like the video, please like and subscribe and share with everybody you know. And if you know any people that you think would be interested in doing this little event with us, please, please let them know. And uh, check out my website, 
it's at www.pinkdragonflywings.com and uh, there we go that's good and so I will see y'all tomorrow in the meantime be creative bye bye